step on her. Welcome, and thank you for attending this session. My name is Su Won Shin, the first speaker, and uh, he is Song Hee Jo, the second speaker. He will explain the, how to create ambient content using the Taijian TV SDK. But uh, before uh, his speech, I want to make you understand Samsung TV. So I will explain what ambient mode is and what lifestyle TV is. Lifestyle TV, what is it? Have you heard about this TV name? Um, it's very hard to define lifestyle TV, but I can say that at least it is more than watching TV. So when the TV is not showing uh, TV programming, what do you expect on TV? So uh, when you don't watch it TV, as you know, it becomes black screen. This is a normal situation, but Samsung wanted to change this. So we define the lifestyle TV is a kind of a uh, furniture or decoration in your living room. And or it can show useful information at all times. So Samsung had released two lifestyle products, the frame, the frame last year and ambient mode of QLED TV this year. So I will explain two products briefly. The frame, have you seen this product before? Let's see the video first. The frame, this is a TV, but the big different thing from normal TV is when you press the power button on the remote after watching TV, it becomes the frame like this. It shows artworks or paintings when you don't want to watch TV. The feature of the frame is like this. The frame is the product name, and this product was released uh, last year. More than 1,000 pieces of artworks and using Samsung checkout for payment and low power consumption. So in the art mode, we call this is art mode, it consumes very low power. So you don't have to worry about that. The TV always on all the time. And all the artworks are in art store and the number of artworks is being increased continuously. And many famous partners join the frame, like Sachi Art, um, Magnum, or Rumors, like this. And we had a promotion with the museum. So you can see very famous paintings on the frame. Next one is ambient mode. Let's see the video first.
Nowadays, the size of a TV screen is bigger and bigger, and the price is cheaper and cheaper. How big size of a TV do you have in your home? Maybe your living room is very similar with this picture. Uh, look, there's a man. He seems he returned home, and we can see <coughs> very big black screen on the wall. And uh, we want to change this uh, situation. So imagine that when you return home, and if the TV is turned on by itself, and the show very useful information like this. Do you like it? The TV, if we see, the TV will be always on. But actually, if there is nobody in the living room, it will be turned off. There are some features of ambient mode, and it's very similar with the, the frame. And we define uh, we have uh, three types of uh, content, I mean the decoration, information, and photo. Let me explain the three categories of the content. <coughs> we can decorate uh, our living room by applying uh, decor content. Most of the decor content are moving art, and they were developed by OpenGL or OpenTK. And all the uh, ambient content uh, changes color according to, according to the luminance, luminance in the living room, like this. So the living room is dark, and it changes its color by itself. I will show you some uh, still cuts of uh, decor content here. But after this session, if you go to the exhi uh, exhibition area, you can see the real content. This is a mountain. It changes color according to the weather, time, and luminous, like this. This is uh, for the water and the clock and sand, like a desert sand, and the window, and another kind of a clock. And information, information content shows very useful information, such as weather, temperature, or headline news. Um, they consist of a uh, Template UI and template UI and clouds. So in TV side, there is a predefined UI, and all the contents come from the cloud. And uh, we can make our living room into a personal gallery with a photo. So photo content comes from our mobile or cloud. And it also consists of a UI template and cloud. So let me explain uh, the how to create the ambient content. We have a three ways to create ambient content. Development in the cloud side for B2B business and the development in uh, client side using the SDK. And uh, for those who are not familiar with the software development, we provide uh, authoring tool. Uh, like uh, weather or headline news, uh, we can use this method. Uh, So uh, in the TV side, we, uh, the TV has predefined UI application, and uh, all the content are from the Samsung Ambient Cloud. The yeah, Samsung Ambient Cloud. Then, for example, let's talk about the headline news. There are many news companies in the world, and uh, Samsung selected some companies, and they let them feed their news data to our Samsung Cloud. Each uh, CP Cloud has their own format, and they will feed their data to Samsung 
ambient cloud. And Samsung ambient cloud regenerate the format data and send to the TV. And TV, TV will show all those different kinds of news data with a unified UI. So whether photo magazine, we can use this uh, method. This page, I will explain about the SDK. This is today's topic. Songhee will explain in detail later. But I just want to say about the key point of the SDK is it is based on the c -sharp language. And you can use uh, OpenTK and SQLSharp and uh, Visual Studio. This uh, SDK will be open uh, next year, January. So you can go to the Samsung developer site and you can find this uh, uh, Taizen TV SDK extension. So I hope uh, you understand the structure of ambient content. Ambient mode generate uh, provide a wallpaper as a background. And uh, over the wallpaper, ambient content chip has a transparent background as a default setting. So it looks like the content are laid on the wall. So we can change the wallpaper to fit your living room. So we can see the content on the on your real wallpaper. For we will provide the authoring tool for artists or beginners who are not familiar with the software development. So this uh, we, we we plan to provide this plugin of well-known video editing tool, but not defined yet. But <clears throat> with this uh, toolkit, uh, we can give the cinematograph effect or slow motion to your videos. This is my last slide. And today I explain the ambient mode and lifestyle TV. I hope you, uh, all of you understand about the Samsung TV. Okay, thank you for listening. Uh, good afternoon, I'm Song Cho, introduced by Mr. Sin. Uh, I work for Samsung and develop Tizen.net framework for TV devices. Uh, it's my second visit to San Francisco. Uh, I participated in last year conference to introduce Tizen.net TV. Some of you may know uh, .NET is installed to Samsung Smart TV. I inform you that uh, all Samsung Smart TV uh, have a .NET framework uh, sold from this year. I will present uh, programming 2D, 3D graphics with OpenTK and SkiaShop for 20 minutes. Uh, it's quite a short time to inform you all about programming with OpenTK and SkiaShop. Uh, therefore, I will outline uh, regarding this. I think this presentation is good for developing, uh, developer to know about uh, C-sharp programming. OK, let's start. First, I will define some keywords used in my presentation. .NET Framework was a part of Tizen platform, and this is installed to all Samsung Smart TV in 2018. Samsung will provide OpenTK and SkiaShop for uh, 3D and 2D graphic programming this year. OpenTK is c -sharp version OpenGL ES. 3D graphic programming is possible with this. 
This will be involved in Tizen 5.0, shipped in next year TV, scheduled for the first quarter 2019. SkiaShop also available in Tizen platform. This is for 2D vector graphics. You can draw pro polygon, text, and bitmap using SkiaShop. This is a C-sharp version SkiA library. SkiA is a famous 2D vector graphics library used in Android and other applications. Graphic results generated by SkiaShop can be interoperated with OpenTK. Uh, therefore, OpenTK and SkiaShop uh, can be used together. Okay, can you see the red circle move that is indicate second, that is time clock? For an application that runs in ambient mode, a specific application mode is provided. Application of this category is named as ambient content app. In ambient mode, graphic and information are shown and drawn automatically without user's interaction like input of remote controller. Water effect uh, made using OpenTK and SkiaShop. From this page, I will explain development environment used to develop ambient content application. Microsoft Visual Studio is used to uh, develop .NET application for Tizen TV, and this is used to develop uh, ambient content application also, uh, because ambient content application is one of .NET application. Development environment consists of Visual Studio, Visual Studio extension for Tizen platform, uh, and Tizen specific tools, including TV emulator. Before starting programming, development environment should be prepared. First, get Microsoft Visual Studio from Microsoft website. Next, get Visual Studio extension from Visual Studio Marketplace. The detailed information is provided from, uh, from Samsung developer site. Next, get Tizen baseline SDK from either Samsung developer site or Tizen developer site and install it. Tools inside this SDK are for Samsung common device, including watch, home appliance, and TV. Next, get TV extension from Samsung developer site and install it. TV extension is for Samsung TV devices. TV emulator is included in this TV extension. TV emulator is useful to execute an application to develop easily. Especially, this is useful if you don't have actual TV device because TV emulator is free. It's possible to install an application you develop and run it. All functionality aren't provided by TV emulator, but it's enough to develop UI applications. It's very easy to run uh, an application to develop and debug it by using Visual Studio. I will show you with two video clips. Connect to device, TV device.
TPK is a Tizen package, application package. You can look over several variables. Step in, step over is possible. Okay, I will skip to save time. Okay, second video clip. I will make exception intentionally. Exception happen. Okay, I will skip. Uh, application can be installed and executed in actual TV device. This can be done easily using Visual Studio. Just connect your TV device and run it. Debugging application in actual TV device is possible. This is useful to test real performance of your application and visual quality. As compared with the development environment published last year, this year's major improvement is providing performance profiler and memory profiler. These profilers help you to uh, develop high quality application. From this page, I will introduce the example code for your understanding. This is a very simple example code was developed to draw a rectangle field with a beige color. First of all, get started by creating a project in Visual Studio. Choose a project template of Tizen OpenTK application to develop c -sharp graphic application. This project is for general application, but not for spatial application used in ambient mode. The spatial project for ambient mode will be introduced at the end of my presentation. The name of application-based class of OpenTK project is game, uh, Tizen Game Application. Uh, I derive my own application class, like my application, from this Tizen game application. And override some event handle, handling method. Uh, in this example code, those methods are on create and on render frame and implement some code shown at the right box. After initialization, write simple vertex shader code and fragment uh, shader code. Create a shader program and attach vertex shader and fragment shader to the program. Um, make two triangles that have three vertices totally uh, six vertices, to, uh, vertices are defined to make uh, a rectangle that consists of two triangles. To draw one drawing plane, uh, clear a display buffer first, and draw two, tri uh, two triangles with a single opaque beige color. Uh, finally, swap the display buffer to show output to a uh, physical display screen. This is output of this example code to show a simple basic color uh, rectangle. 
From this page, I will introduce more complicated example code than previous simple example code. This example code, I will explain how to make a simple uh, clock to display time in analog and digital manner. It's required to make this to uh, draw circles and text. As a previous example, uh, choose a project template of Tizen Authenticate application to develop c -sharp graphic application. I have to uh, prepare a surface to draw something like circles and text uh, using SkiaShop. Declare a common draw, uh, drawing attribute to paint circle that is commonly used by drawing all three so uh, circles. After drawing three circles, I draw three texts to indicate hour, minutes, and seconds in text format. Prepare a texture map that is a space where drawing wizard is stored and uh, that is used to render final output. Next, uh, I will uh, shade a code that is somewhat more complex than previous example code. For texture mapping, texture coordinate is required to map texture uh, with vertices. Uh, vertices represent two triangles to make one rectangle uh, as a previous example. Okay, finally, uh, let's combine parts uh, that are prepared. First, draw uh, circles and text using SkiaShop. Second, create a texture map to store drawings. Last, in the same manner of OpenTK rendering, clear display buffer first, and render polygons with texture map. Don't forget calling swap buffers to show final result to physical uh, display. This is the final result. Uh, I will play video clip to show your result. Okay, skip. Uh, this is a last example. Uh, I don't explain every detail, but I explain different parts from a uh, general C -sharp graphic application like previous two examples that I explained. Only difference from general c -sharp graphic application is an application base class. I can choose OpenTK uh, content app of project templates in Visual Studio to make an ambient content application. Previously, I chose uh, Tizen OpenTK application for general c -sharp graphic application. In another case, it's better to change only the base class if you, I have source code based on general C-sharp graphic application base class. Just to rename application base class from Tizen game application to OpenTK uh, content at base. This is a uh, a uh, real example of ambient content uh, made with OpenTK and SkiaShop. This is, this is exhibited uh, at the ambient content booth. Try to visit there to see beautiful graphic animation of ambient content if you are available. Uh, you can uh, find document to help you to develop general c -sharp graphic application and ambient content application in the following sites. Uh, Samsung developer site is 
a starting page of all other pages. Visit there if, if information is necessary. We are preparing programmer's guide about OpenTK, including uh, SkiaShop. And this will be released to public by December. There are some sites to provide example code that can, be, can help you to uh, understand c -sharp graphic programming well. This is uh, the end of my presentation. Is there any question? Okay. Um, my understanding is that the current uh, ambient mode does not support web view or web engine. Uh, is there any plan to support uh, web view or web engine in uh, ambient mode so that yeah. general developers can release their HTML slash CSS uh, web app? Yeah, we, we have plan to uh, support the web view from 2020. So we develop uh, next year and uh, open it to World, to the world uh, 2020. So uh, in, from cloud, the, any CP can send the uh, HTML5 UI and the TV can throw them. Hello, thanks for the presentations. Um, how is whatever we are going to program, how is it going to be distributed? And another question, is it possible to, well, we both work for, uh, for public media, so we do have a lot of you know, up-to-date content. Is it possible to put dynamic up-to-date content in that, in that landscape that you've just shown us? So um, SDK will be public release next year, January, and the Samsung seller site will be open next year, March. So uh, you, t you can try um, from January, and uh, you can submit your binary from March. Yeah, but we cannot say currently. We cannot say this is app store because currently we have only twelve contents, and we plan to expand it with you. Target more. Um, if we wanted to target maybe uh, an upcoming event or something like that, uh, my company does sports streaming. So, um, would that be something that you would look to surface through amb ambient mode, or is it more meant to be like a, a picture on the wall? Mm. Currently, we defined the three category, but uh, we are going to expand the coverage of the ambient content. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, would it sort of advertising yeah. uh, be part of it? Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. But um, we are discussing about the advertising. So you can have your own the cloud, and the content, the advertising content can be sent to the TV. It's very simple, but we are still discussing about this. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, advertisement is not decoration, so <laughs> we need to uh, think more. So uh, if we have already have an app in uh, Tizen TV, can like, it be extended, same extent to be a kind of playing in ambient mode? What kind of Tizen TV app? Um, and it's a streaming app. Streaming app. Uh, streaming app? Uh, Netflix, like that? Um, so we define that the ambient mode is when the TV is not showing the TV programming or movie. Mm -hmm. So streaming is in the TV mode, and this is not the TV. Yeah. But streaming is not uh, planned to show in the ambient mode. Yeah. Streaming is not aligned to our concept. But technically, it's possible because the framework, in our .NET framework, provides the streaming API also. Uh, 
Um, so in terms of uh, other input, is the SDK support uh, a sockets interface so that the ambient app can reach out and collect data and then display it? And is there also an uh, interface to the remote control or you know, what can I use for input into my ambient app? Uh, the this year we do not allow we did not we did not allow the input from the remote control, but we are continuously evaluate uh, uh, make it improve and get from all of your voice and the, we will have a plan to. Process. How about a socket interface? You know, uh, across the net to to another uh, device in the cloud. Yeah, Can, socket socket. Device. Yeah, a, a socket, socket or, or you know network connection. Okay, so currently, uh, technically, we didn't uh, we allow that any ambient app can access any device. Yeah. And uh, uh, the photo 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 contents, the photos are from the your mobile or cloud. From the, the communication between the TV and the mobile, we need to use the socket. Same question. Uh, our so, .NET framework provides several functionalities, so can so, include it. So if I had uh, IP cameras around my house and I wanted to show, you know, what is showing on those cameras, you know, security application, that could be built? Uh, security. Um, well, we didn't talk about the, the kind of scenario. It, it seems like a natural for ambient. You know, you're, you're not yeah. watching TV, it's in an ambient mode. Just start to show the cameras that are around the house, you know, as a yeah. security. Yeah, technically, it's possible, but uh, uh, with the surveillance, so we provide a smart thing, IoT dashboard. So you can install your camera in your home, and your home, and you can see the video with the IoT dashboard. Mm. Okay, no more question. Okay, please rate session and win prizes. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you.